I was obsessed with this song. I remember getting ready on my quinceanera day to this song. Okay, so I have to pause the music for a second because of copyrights, but for this video, I am freaking excited and nervous at the same time. I do have my chai tea. I basically just whipped this baby out before heading out. I make it so bomb that I have no necessity to go to Starbucks anymore. Anyways, not the point for this video. So for this video, you guys, I am going to be driving by myself to Biden, which I've never done. Biden, one, it is 23 minutes away from Grafenbeer. Two, the weather is not the best. So it always makes the road like a lot more sketchier three I've never really gotten on the freeway like the Autobahn here in Germany So I'm a little scared and for my cell phone service Barely gets any connection out there. Anyways again, not the point of the video So for today's video, I'm gonna be driving to Biden and I'm gonna be checking out Most likely two stores one of them is real and the other one is Coughlin So basically in the States we're pretty much all familiar with Target and Walmart Those are like our go-to stores and so basically I heard that real and Coughlin is as close as it gets to Walmart So I definitely want to check that out because I am gonna be here for three years and I just need to get out and explore and just see what my options are but i've been talking to you guys for a minute now so this is definitely the longest intro ever but anyways before we continue if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe down below right now also make sure you click that little notification bell button it's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie Rea, that's how you can find me okay so while i'm still connected to our wi-fi since i'm literally standing right in front of our building i'm gonna go ahead and get the gps going we are gonna be going to real first that's only 20 minutes away that's not bad just arrived was i shitting bricks on my way here yes i was and to be honest it doesn't look worth it yes it looks really big um but it honestly just looks like a grocery store and if it is only a grocery store i'm gonna be a little upset all right guys not gonna lie i'm a little impressed it basically has everything so the walkway there is a little bakery and I actually do see that on a lot of these stores majority of like the bigger stores have a bakery like every single one of them and you guys this is it this is Walmart basically a little bit pricey but that's fine they have games holy crap I have to tell Phoenix about this I'm guessing I'm in the electronic section this caught my attention and okay I have to put this freaking euro away they have TVs they have radio sound systems that's kind of cool you could get a bunch of kitchen stuff oh my goodness I haven't seen this section in a long time they have blenders I'm so happy right now. I'm no longer upset about having to drive all the way over here. The section right here kind of reminds me of Costco. They have a cute little molcajete. Pricey though. They have Adidas. Yo, they have this Kappa brand. Ah, how freaking cute is this? I want one just for the hell of it. Tell me, how do I look? Definitely in the sports section. You know, they have the bikes scooters they have some working out stuff and let me check oh you guys they have roller blades i have been wanting some of these roller blades or roller skates we have this game right here um i think it's called life all right guys so i'm done checking out half of the store and so far this is what i got this is about eight euro so i'm now in the kind of makeup section so far they only have these two brands right here they basically have all the brands that you would find at walmart i spy playboy guys so the rest of the store kind of just seems to be the grocery part of the walmart i would definitely say that this is super close to being a walmart i have yet to find cilantro i haven't been able to see it anywhere but um this is a lot bigger than the commissary everything looks a hundred times more fresh So I just got back in the car. I didn't end up getting anything at real just because my house still needs so much furniture. So basically what I need is a place to find furniture and then I could start getting decorations. Okay, vamonos. On my way there, I don't know why I'm yellow AF, um, I saw Poco and I was like, I know that place, I've been there and they have furniture here. So I'm gonna do a quick little round, see if I find anything. I guess I'll also show you guys Poco just so you guys could see what you guys could find here. 
So this is the entrance. It's sort of set up like Ikea. This place is known for their rugs, which I do want to check out too. I mean, do you guys see the prices? Like, look at how big those carpets are and they're only 24.99 euro. And then they obviously have some really big ones. So lately I've been obsessed with this bohemian style and I feel like this would be perfect. The color is not bad and it's only $14.99. Just notice this right here. They're on sale. This is the smallest one. I'm guessing it's 7 euro. And then the biggest one which is this one right here. It's only 10 euro. I'm digging that. Also right now I'm looking for like a desk a lamp. Something cheap. Something that I would be able to find at Walmart for like eight dollars but i really can't find one i feel like the all of these are like kind of fancy and i don't need one like it's not gonna be for display it's actually just needed for something okay so i actually had a cart and i already got some stuff and i forgot that i still needed to check upstairs so i am now upstairs i did put my stuff in the car already and just really quick i want to show you guys what upstairs looks like this couch is so cute i love the color to it Alright guys, I am now in my pretty much third location, but this was meant to be my second location. I do want to get a cart, but I don't see them anywhere. Oh damn, they're over there. Huh. So let's forget about the cart. I literally just walked in and I don't know if I should be making a right or a left or if it's like a little maze. But no, because people are going that way. Shoe store, this is called D. You guys, I'm kind of digging these. Um, hello, how cute are these? I like these and it looks like they're only 32. They also have some filas. These are cute. <gasps> no. Yo, if I were to get these, I'd be Mia Colucci AF. For the few that know me, y'all know I'm obsessed. I know you guys are probably thinking like, Natalie, what the hell? Girl. I just found some Kendall and Kylie. Oh my goodness. I think I'm now in Coughlin. I think the rest, it's mainly like a mall sort of kind of. I wonder how many people are going to be in the background looking at the camera when I edit this because I could feel it. Like I just try to look straight ahead and I can actually feel the eyeballs following me. But yeah, I thought Coughlin was just going to be a one single place, but it turns out it's kind of like a mall and then Coughlin is inside it. I mean, don't quote me on that. Yo, do you guys see this? Osea, hello, cards. I literally feel like I'm in a whole new world and I feel ripped off like I literally have the exact same one. I want to say I paid like 24 euro in Boko. So I didn't share this with you guys. Where was the first place? Rio. Um, I saw this at Rio and I was literally about to get it. But it was a little bit more off-white and it was $7.99. Look at how cheap this is. It's like 75% less. Both logic and math are taking a serious hit today. Oh yes. Yes. This area right here is so cute. There is a lot more makeup, like a lot more than real. The hair dye section is a lot bigger. Like I did not see any Garnier, L'Oreal, like they did not have any of this at real. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed. Like this is why I need someone to be with me. My eyes are starting to hurt just because this place is enormous and I am pretty blind. Also, I don't even know where checkout is. Like, do I need to go downstairs? I guess I'm just gonna follow the crowd. Now back in Graf, I am familiar with this little street right here and I was feeling a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna get a little donut, show you guys what it looks like. This one is the one I basically get 
You guys definitely need to try this place out. I got it to go. Something that sucks about this gate is that you could only come out. You, you cannot go in. But you are able to walk in if that makes sense. Anyways, long story short, I cannot drive in through the gate. Um, this one right here, I have to go around. So for the most part, when I drive, and I know I'm going to go in through the gate, I have to take out my ID because they do ask for it before you come in. Alright, are y'all ready to see this bomb ass? Dona kebab. Woo, it smells delicious. Look at this yumminess. I always get cheese in it, so cheese is an extra 50 cent euro. So without the cheese, it's only 4 euro. With the cheese, it's 450 euro, which I don't think it's bad. It's toasted, it's so good. I swear the lighting room in my living room is the worst. All right, so I know today's video was basically me just trying to figure out what kind of other stores there is here, what kind of stores I could go to that are closest to Grafenbeer that I could probably like find stuff that I would find back at home like Walmart or Target. So the two new locations that I went, which was Rio and Coughlin. Coughlin by far is a hundred times bigger the grocery section is a hundred times bigger they have a lot more stuff and I do think that it's a lot more cheaper than real I think it sucks that I have to drive like 20 minutes to Biden just to find a big store like that but it does make sense because Biden is more like a city and Graf is definitely a town and don't get me wrong we have a lot of stores to get groceries to get makeup five minutes away which I could find them at Rosman I want small little home decor basically of stuff that I saw today I can go to Teddy for that what i am gonna do to try and make this as helpful as possible i am gonna be sharing my favorite stores and what you could find stores that are here in grafenbeer just so this could help in case you are pcsing to grafenbeer very soon and you're freaking out about where the hell you're gonna find your stuff so i'm gonna end today's video right here i do want to give out a shout out and today's shout out goes out to kg paradise so kg paradise thank you for being part of this beautiful youtube channel and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribe and comment anything your big old heart desires i love you guys all hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the raya family and i will see you guys soon bye guys